on the walk through single update number 11. On this one, and we're doing another chill update. Today, we're looking at one of my new items, which will help me, or will hopefully help me do a little bit better in games as well as I was really, really needing one really, really badly. And that is, if we were to look over here, guess which is new. If that is, yeah, I just got a Razer Epic Chroma, which is a mouse made by Razer, and it is wireless, as you can see. MMO, which means it has many buttons on the side, and laser, and, um, and it also lights up, which is what's important. But yeah, so I need to get a new mouse to replace this guy. This is my third... Vonja Check G700S mouse, and it finally gave up with being, uh, since it's being a little whack, the left mouse button, or the mouse buttons are, are the, left, the mouse buttons decided to go off, uh, or not go off, but basically not being as responsive as it could be, and the Logitech software always sucks. Even this, even this day and age, the Logitech software always sucks. Or always sucks. Uh, but thankfully, I mean, it would, I mean, I, the primary reason why I get this replaced is because it's, it will, it has profiles, uh, I, have, I have it on the 3, you can set it up to 5, and the thing about this thing is, it sometimes resets, and unfortunately now, it, and unfortunately, since it's old, it starts to reset very often, instead of staying on my 1, which is my copy and paste, uh, undo, redo button, or basically copy, paste, redo, undo. I uh, would go to my gaming setting, which is one, two, three, four. Which, if I'm trying to copy and paste something, hit this, you have one where I copy it, and if I hit this, it'd be two where I paste it. Uh, or if I want to paste, so yeah, it doesn't that doesn't work? Uh, I've always done something like that. Basically, we go off gaming settings to the you uh, to the to, well, the normal mode. So, yeah, so I had to get this replaced, and I decided, you know what, I might as well um, spend a little bit more money and get myself um, a Razer, I can get myself what I hope to be, or I hope to be a little bit better mouse, and the Razer Epic Chroma, which I got this off Amazon for $114, no price at Razer is $129, this is normal price $900, got off Amazon $600. So, you can go over there into my pile of, I need to get that arranged. Yeah, those, yeah, uh, what's on that chair is, needs to get arranged. And then, and right down there, they need to get arranged as well. Also, up there. Um, but anyway, so, yeah. So this thing, um, constant pros compared to the mouse is, it's, the pro is it has much higher, DP, much higher DPI, which means higher sensitivities, and it does it much better. Because... The, what, the 14,000 that the uh, G7X mouse can go to, it's nearly unplayable for me because it's just way too sensitive. However, the 8,200 on this thing is actually really nicely balanced and very easy to use, as in... See? Click. 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 So, yeah. Um, which is really nice, as opposed to, what? Uh... uh uh, actually, I kept yeah, this is a little higher than what I kept on the, on the other mouse. I should have slow for this. All right, then but we're right here. There we go. Yeah, I think I kept like four thousand two hundred on the on the last mouse. So yeah. But overall, a very very good mouse. Except there's two things that the Logitech except except, except it does not have two things that the Logitech G seven G seven hundred S mouse has. One, has no hyper scroll. Basically, I have to go pick it up again. Basically, what that means is this mouse, if I, this is what it looks like normally when I am moving it. You can hear it. However, one, if I press this button, as you can see, it moves completely freely. Which means you can go down very long pages in a second. Unfortunately, Razer does not have that feature, so it's that. So that basically, when going down long, long pages of just text, 
Uh, it makes it less efficient, but uh, it's fine. And the second thing is it's not, it's weird. Um, this mouse, well, when it's wired, uh, which is on the back of this, when it's wired, it actually is a whole thousand times better than the Logitech G7, G7 mouse, which that's meant for basically charging on the fly. However, when this thing is wired, uh, how is not, however, unlike the Logitech G7, G7, C, G700S mouse, uh, which is a little dongle you plug in uh, to your computer, this one doesn't. It has, this is the wireless thing right here, the cradle, which is not parable. But, you know, it would be wireless all the time as opposed to just when that's connected to the cradle. Well, that's fine. But, yeah. However, uh, positive negative based on what you think is positive for me is having more things to press. Uh, lots more things to press. Basically, it has the entire num key. So, if you're playing a normal game, not anything with, like, up to four num keys for swapping out weapons like, like Battlefield, it's fine. Uh, or, let's say, PS Digital is something I actually play on PC. But, if you're going to an older game, like, let's say, Command Conquer Renegade, where you got, you can have more, you can have weapons fill up the entire number pad screen, you can't do that, you know, your, um, the Logitech mouse only has four little things, which are barely, which are better praised, placed, and easier to use, which is good for a starter, like I used to be, but, for this, where you know, you know where, where you can basically memorize where everything is, or just a look. Um, as you can see, it's only a grid of three high, four wide, so it's not too hard to think of how to press these. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit better. Uh, however, got a small flaw again. Um, you can't change, you can either, basically these two buttons here are your free buttons. They just do whatever you want that you don't want anywhere else. Uh, which I have these. As you can see, I have these on my sensitivity button, the sensitivity up and down, which I just have it for that, it's fine, because I can pretty much guess how, how high that is on, like, the logic mouse, which you, can, which you can't really. Um, where it's, I just feel like it's just easy to do this. I mean, logic mouse, you, you just go, actually, no, logic mouse, you go up and down, yeah, but this is just, I, I feel like it's better for this, just to have, um, I turn the bars, which that won't show up in-game, by the way, it only shows up on desktop, which is nice. Anyway, so, yeah, I can't have a profile switcher, or, I can't have undo redo buttons. I, I guess I can, I just gotta, I just gotta put them on 10 and 9, which is, 10 is obviously 0. So, yeah, but that's unfortunate, yeah, that's fine, I'll just get used to not having the undo redo. I mean, it was handy, especially when the mouse messed up, uh, but, it's fine. Um, but yeah. But yeah, copy and paste really, really helps. Uh, when copying and pasting video um, names and titles. Well, another thing about this mouse is, as you can see, it's kind of wide, which is fine by me because I got bigger hands, which it fits my hands pretty well. Except the weird thing about this mouse is your your pinky is actually supposed to hang off it. I think it's supposed to just rest on this. As you can see, it's completely flat, so um, by you just kind of gripping up your pinky and have your finger here, which is fine, your fingers here are fine, and then this, which actually in the plot about this mouse is you can't really pick it up very well, but you don't really need to anyway. Um, but yeah, you can just have uh, your thumb on the numpad, and that's fine. It fits really well, much better than I would say the uh, the non-chroma, which the non-chroma has a convex uh, numpad, so having a concurve. And then this, like that, so if we do this, and as you can see, it's fine, but my fingers are not that bad. It gives, your place to, it gives my finger a place to be, but not being, by not being too much. But anyway, so actually, let's show up my another. Let's show my other new thing, which is my timer, which I've already done a couple videos with. This thing's just amazing. Cause watch this. Okay, my old timer, which is just a channel update for channel update sake. My old timer, which is this, which it's great, but that got stuck. Uh, that got broken and stuck. This thing, if I wanted to count up to like thirty, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. If I want to count up on this, which is just the higher price model, the newer version, which actually is the same size, uh, which means the numbers are smaller, but oh well. I'd much rather have the numpad where I can do this. 30, 0, 0, 0, done. 30 minutes, which right now, 
I'm at 10 minutes, so I'm going to put on 20 because this is going to be a bit, I'm going to be playing some games after this. Yeah. Done. I love it. I love it. Uh, Alright, so, um, yeah, well, that's a sport laptop, by the way. And that's in its, uh, recording via console configuration. Also, got a new pause. As you can see, there's my little pause. Got a new pause. Got that fixed. I'll be doing console videos shortly, don't you worry. Well, tomorrow, because I got some other things to do today. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And when I don't have... I don't have the uh, arm... I don't have the leg rest down. That's what I see. So I have to use my... I have to use a mouse here, a mouse there, and then move it around, get to the record, hit record, this hand go around, move, hit the, uh, hit the record audio, that game, game, then hit the time, then hit the timer, and then hit, do the audio thing, but it's fine. But anyway. Alright. So anything else I want to talk about the mouse before we go into the, into the, into the thing. Oh, by the way, you might be wondering about my desktop. Yeah, I'm, I need to clean it up. I actually cleaned it up before recording. Because unfortunately, for whatever dumb reason, this doesn't like to stay where it is. It likes to move around. Um, but yeah, I, I'm planning on getting rid of a lot of these or making it better. Because there, there is, you know, like, there is a system here. It's persistent shooters, strategy, vehicle, um, MMO, um, strategy, vehicle, MMO, and then down here is just all new games which I don't, which I can't fit anywhere else because that's because they're new. And over here are games I want to record or play. So, yeah. Um, uh, but anyway, so, yeah, now let's look at the, uh, on the software which actually works, as opposed to this one which doesn't work at the time. Another thing I should mention about this, about this, uh, mouse is, uh, I, I've been, I've been up since 12. And I've had the mouse on all day. I did put it in the cradle as I was recording uh, my unboxing video of October's Hit Little Legendary Loot Crate. But, as you can see, and I put it on the cradle for like 30 minutes, and it and it was down to 50, and now it's back to 61. So the battery life on this thing is amazing. It will, you know, if you put it on charge every night after you're done using the computer, if you use the computer all day, that's it. it it's charged. Um, or if you just need to take a break from the computer or just put the mouse, or just put the mouse in the cradle whenever you're not using it, you'll never run out of charge. Unlike the G7 Orange mouse, which would run out of charge in like four hours. And that's being awfully generous. But anyway, so, um, yeah. This goes by, it's really easy to use. Um, I, oh, by the way, the, oh, by the way, this has, I should also mention, this has a... The scroll wheel that does that, it tilts over to the side, which is really nice, actually makes the tilting of the scroll wheel useful. Which, by the way, default is actually not scroll left and scroll right, it's actually... It's actually the in-game figure on the left, and the one something else. So I don't want to actually do anything, so yeah, and then the right one's something else. And then these aren't sensitive to other things, actually, I don't think these are used in the default, in the default thing, and then go to the side view. And they got all this. These are not copy and paste usually, but that's what I use them for. And they work just as well as the other buttons. I just gotta remember where they are, which is not that hard. Because I'd use muscle memory. Once I, once I play, uh, once I play a couple of games with this, oh, I will have it in my head, no problem. Um, and I mean, there are great, there are mouse, that Razer has mouses that are wired that have, uh, we need more buttons on the side, which I don't, uh, I can't fathom how they, how they work, but yeah. Um, by and the reason why I got a wireless one is because look at my setup. Wires don't work here. So yeah. Especially if the keyboard's in its still configuration. If it is, well the wires come underneath the keyboard and the keyboard will jam it so it's not doesn't work. And performance, here we go. Uh here's the uh the DPI sensitivities, acceleration I have off because on it, it increases the uh, jumping. Which as you can see is the jumping. But if I lower sensitivity, it's better, much better than the much better than pre any any mouse I've used previously. But yeah, I just put it in a place that's not a bunch of junk on top of it, or not a uh, bunch of that well skin cells. But yeah, it is better when I'm not recording when I'm not recording it and having my head at an odd angle.
Okay, uh, also, I uh, can also, if you really want to, which I would never do, but if you really, really want to, you can change, uh, you can change the mouse, you can change into the mouse going like this and like this, if you really want to. I mean, if you're a professional gamer and you got one specific game that you needed to do that in, it works. But yeah. Also, this thing in Chroma is that you can have as many colors as you basically want. You can have it on constant rotation like the, uh, like my mouse pad, the Firefly. Or you can have it on static color, which I prefer it here, but as you can see, these are all the default colors, but you can use the Windows color picker to do whatever you want. So you can have any color you want. Bar now, you, you don't have to be, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to be stuck with the colors that they have for you. And you change the uh, brightness of the thing, or you can, so you can dim it, or you can make it bright. I prefer it bright because I like shiny things and it works best. Or you can have them off if you want. Oh, but we're not supposed to move the mouse either when that's doing that. So yeah. Uh, by and I and by the way, uh, if you're planning on making colors from the numpad, uh, have whatever color you like for the scroll wheel. In fact, I might actually have it on Chroma just for why not. Uh, but I prefer having the numpad, ha as you can see, be a brighter color, so you can much easier to decipher the numbers when you want to quickly look at it. So yeah, and then power, as you can see, we can do sleep mode for 15 minutes because I don't really need it. The mouse doesn't really need it, um, and it's not like one, it's not one of those stupid mouses to just turn off on you. I don't think. Um, and they have to do some magic to turn it back on, but no, uh, I think this is just sleeps and then move a bit and you're good. Which I put on, I would say 50 minutes, so it should be fine. And then you can, you can make the squirrel blink, uh, below a certain number that is, be that is below 25 or above 5, which is fine, I put it on 10. Which should give me a good, like, tw 10, 20, 30 minutes of, oh, by the way, you should do something about the mouse that is powering off on you. And, of course... Oh, actually, yeah, enable that. Why is that not enabled? Um, that's thing you can configure, which allows you to configure the mouse per game. Instead of having to, you know, do profiles, you can just do it per game, which is pretty nice. Works, I guess, on the same basis as the Steam Overlay, which we'll check out once we actually start playing a game. Which, we'll start playing Aim Hero, because I got it for a re- Or I- Or, uh, I asked for it for a reason, so, um, yeah. Um, but yeah. And then we'll do, like, Armored Warfare, Wolf Tanks, the, 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 the me and Sean's on, so we'll do, uh, Hearts of Iron, not Hearts of Iron, yes, we could do it, but no, uh, I mean, but no, I mean, um, here's the general, but anyway, and then you can, that right on, that's fine, also, there's micros, which are still, which I still don't understand what they are, Chrome apps, um, stuff that makes sure, that makes uh, the lights do certain things. As you can see, we're from Warfare, so we'll see what happens when we play it. And then stats. Which takes from 5 million years to load. Oh, right. So, um, yeah, now we're going to be off to Aim Hero. Or now we're going to be off to Aim Hero and test out the mouse there. Alright, and let me play a game before this. They play Civilization 6, by the way, in case you're just watching this in the future uh, on the channel update, or if you're watching, or if you, or you didn't see what happened yesterday. Yeah, I played Civilization 6 with you. Works fine for point for a game where you just simply point and click, obviously, but we're going to find out in here if it's going to work well for first person shooters. And then we'll actually try it in, like, Armored Warfare and try it in Damn for Me and try it in, in Heroes of General to actually see if it works. The theme hero, while being awesome, is still just a test bed. We need to try it in the field as well. By the way, so I'll be right back once we get into aim hero.